Hey there, Janae with Palin Projects here and in this week's video I'm going to be setting up drip tubing in our garden space. So we've been really pushing it this year to get the garden space all set up and ready to go. Um, I have built, uh, videoed us building the four new, um, actually in these two are uh, new, but the four new garden beds um, this year. So once we finish that I'll put that up um, for you all to watch. But um, now I need to run drip to them all. Um, tools I'm using here today, um, I picked up a quarter inch barb, uh, connector. So these are just straight couplers. I have, um, some tea couplers as well, quarter inch tea couplers. Um, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. Oh, I need skeeter spray. Um, I have an exacto knife to cut. Um, I have quarter inch, 50 foot, um, quarter inch strip tubing with emitters every 12 inches. Um, I found this is, it works really nice in this type of an application. Um, I do like the single emitters when I'm in my garden beds, but, um, in my flower beds, but in these garden beds it's a lot nicer to, um, use the 12 inch. Uh, one gallon per hour uh, emitter, so or is it? It's half a gallon per hour, I think. Hold on. Point six five gallon per hour. Yeah, interesting. I thought it was a gallon per hour. Um, and then I have just straight quarter inch uh, uh, tubing that I bought today. Um, I'm gonna be pulling the quarter inch from the main main line. Um, so I have quarter inch, um, a quarter inch main line that comes from our house. I'll show you that setup as well. Uh, we have it on a frost-free timer. So there's a frost-free to our house, and then um, I set up a timer with four zones on it. Um, the garden space is on one zone as a whole, so I don't have any on-off switch switches or anything. Um, so. I will be tapping uh, just the regular quarter inch into the main line, the half inch main line, um, with a straight coupler, and then I will be running the emitter quarter inch through the beds, um, and that's how I'll be watering the garden this year. So uh, let's get after it. So here's our quarter inch. Uh, let's bring that a little closer. Um, they do make little like punch tools. I don't know where mine's at, so. Again, I'm going to be using the X-Acto knife. Um, not the best situation, but it's what I have. So I'm going to just make a hole just ever so slightly. Just to get it started. I think that's probably good enough. And then I'm going to make, make one right here too for the other side. And then uh, we're going to do these guys. I really need to get a tackle box for all of my drip irrigation uh, systems. So I was running it today because I'm hooking it up. Um, push it in. Maybe. Need a bigger one. This is where that punching tool is nice. Um, it makes like the perfect size hole. I really need to find it. I lost it last year. Or I just need to get a new one. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I am failing today, everyone, but that's okay. We'll get this hooked up and be good to go. They make tools as well. There we go. That help, um, like, get these adapters on, but when you're going to a half inch like this, it doesn't really help for these guys, unfortunately. So... This one because yeah, that should be good enough. We'll see. Nope. 
struggle bus. There. Let's see if that works. I'm really not a fan of doing this, but it makes it worth it. There we go. Because then I don't have to um, come out here and water and everything's on a schedule. Um, but boy, does this hurt your fingers. There. Okay, so we got two straight couplers there. We're going to take the solid poly. Open this up. Oh, that's not the solid. This is the solid. We're going to take this over to each bed and bring it up. Um, the reason for the solid poly is so that I'm not watering the weeds. Um, I want to water the garden beds only. So um, I do in my other bed, in my, in my other beds over there, I do um, have this just running straight from the black um, poly. And you can tell, like, at the... Here, let me move you guys over. Pan through all of the weeds. Um, you can tell, like, at the base there, there's a couple emitters that water the weeds. And it makes it really difficult to, um, you know, keep the weeds down. And, and even, like, weed eating and stuff like that, it's, it's difficult to do. So I want to mitigate all of the, the weed issues... Um, around here so I don't have to constantly like mow and weed eat so let's pan back sorry if I made you guys sick there we go okay um so I'm only going to do one of these and bring it over at a time so you just connect it like that Oop. It's a lot harder to do with the camera in your face should be good and then I'm just gonna measure out here real quick to the flower bed that's probably good and then cutting this there we go and another straight inch coupler because now we're gonna straight inch coupler into the um, quarter inch with uh, uh, emitters so this is where with this tubing and and these couplers um, where the tool to insert these couplers um, it's just like a little crimper tool um, that's it's really nice for that okay. and then let's open this up careful not to cut the drip tubing And then we're going to connect this quarter inch drip tube to this and take it through the flower bed. Okay, so does that make sense? So half inch coupler, quarter inch solid coupler, get it to focus, there we go, coupler into the quarter inch with drip and see you know if I was to run this directly from the quarter inch it would be watering all of those weeds there and I don't want to do that I want to suppress as many weeds as possible so okay let's turn our you around and show you laying this down so as you can see here I have um, tomatoes transplanted um, bunny foo foo uh, got a hold of that one so I have to replace their um, I brought my daughter out today and we did a whole bunch of seed planting. So we have sunflowers here, we have rainbow carrots, and then we have um, coreless carrots. And then at the very end we have kohlrabis, we have purple and green.
so she had a she had a blast planting today so um, I figured you know we got to get drip set up sooner rather than later so um, here we go want to make sure this coupler um, this coupler here is on the top here so I will find a rock um, after all is said and done so that um, this will sit here and not wiggle throughout. Um, they do make stakes but I didn't buy any. We also hooked, hooked up the pepper bed on drip tonight. So right there's the jalapenos. Um, those are bananas, jalapenos, uh, so, uh, red cherries are right there. Um, these are cayennes, pepperoncinis, uh, serranos, two rows of serranos, and then uh, my bell, bells. So there's three different kinds of bells there. Um, again, over here. 
our tomatoes and then this is where the kohlrabis are um, with the carrots so um, two beds hooked up on drip tonight um, I'm going to work on seeing if I have any more because I ran out of drip the quarter inch drip so I'm gonna see if I have any more drip for these two beds um, you can see I have a pepper fail along with bunny foo foo um, since these beds aren't on drip I think these guys took a transplant shock and I don't think they're gonna bounce back unfortunately that one might um, trying to save that one um, but these were all my Romas guys um, every single one of my Roma tomatoes right here so there was one bunny foo foo got two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten of my uh, romas um sadly i think have perished um so i'm gonna have to replace those with uh some other um some other pepper and then um this is coming in a video uh shortly and my cabbages are here um which is pretty exciting and then these two front beds sorry if that made you sick are all tomatoes as well excuse the weeds here but as you can see we have a frost free to the house we have a timer and then we have four zones so one two three four I leave that one open um, just in case I need to hook a hose or something up I um, I didn't always have the splitter here but now that I have a splitter here I don't necessarily need the fourth unless I put in another um, flower bed or another drip system which is fine um, but it has current time um that's not the current time that's when zone one goes zone two goes um and zone three so i have them going for 45 minutes and the one zone goes all the way out to the the garden you know in a in the span of i don't know 20 minutes um i got both of these beds hooked up on drip um you know, it's it's a lot easier to have things hooked up on drip. I tell my family that all the time. Um, I get a lot of the question of like, hey, I can't tie it into my sprinkler system, or um, you know, I don't know, I don't want to sit there and have to man manually go it off and and turn on and off the the um, the garden, or you know, it's just easier for me to hand water, you know. Plants really thrive from consistency, so being watered at the same time same um, duration, um, same amount of water every day. Um, you know, you can come through with fertilizer and whatnot, but uh, plants really thrive on consistency. So, um, and also, you know, I just, I don't have the time. Um, you know, working, um, doing YouTube, um, all of, you know, just life in general. We, we like to go camping, we like to do external things, and um, being able to go on vacations and not have to worry about my garden. Um, having someone, you know, swing by and, and water the garden and whatnot. So, um, I really hope this helps you guys to, um, kind of visualize how to set up drip. You know, this isn't ideal and I do want to refactor it so that it is, um, you know, it, it, it can be turned on and off, um, by each bed and, um, the, the tubing isn't as exposed and so you don't have as much water loss and all of that. But honestly, for a temporary thing, which, you know, this garden space has evolved over the last five years. <coughs> um, and, um, you know, we, we keep adding to it and, and such, you know, this has been a great solution for me. Um, and it's fit, it's fit my needs um, for, for my family. So um, I'm able to grow a large quantity um, worth of food with minimal effort. You know, I, I have my seed starting, I have my planting, and then obviously I have my time um, setting all of this stuff up on drip. But um, ultimately, you know, I'm not spending every day, uh, you know, 20, 30, 45 minutes each day because I still have my flowers and stuff too. Um, everything is automated. So... Uh, I, I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next project. Thanks, guys. Bye.